Three Girls One Kitchen is no longer in production. We are no longer shooting. Lana, Lana Rose, straight from Chicago, coming at you live from the 310. Went from a life behind the bars, concealing your hearts. Gonna see her face everywhere you go, cause we're in Lana's world. Yeah, yeah, make the money, then you take control. Yeah, yeah, she retired, but she's number one. This is Lana's world. Welcome to my ranch hence the cowgirl hat. Well, it's not actually a ranch. I live in Los Angeles. My yard is really small. This is about the whole thing. However, we're gonna go with the ranch theme today and the cowgirl hat because I do have cute baby animals here today that I wanna show you. His name is Aflac. He loves to hang out by this rose bush. He was adopted from a shelter. He's not super friendly, but he's not aggressive. He just doesn't want me bothering him. There's my boy. There's his morning oats, his water, mealworms, and shrimp. He loves, 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 loves watermelon, a little bit of corn, and then sometimes I fill this with vegetables. But he doesn't really like to eat his veggies like most kids, if I'm being honest. Oops, that's a lot. These are my two baby Pekin ducks. They just went for their morning swim in their tub. I give them a little shrimp and mealworm so they can learn how to get food up the pond. Now they're going back in their kids because they're too small to run around. Hi, baby. Hi. We are on the set of 3G1K, aka my back house. I have a little news. Three Girls One Kitchen is no longer in production. We are no longer shooting. I've decided that because my life is changing, I'm having a baby, I'm growing as a person, I want to go into a new venture by myself of doing a solo podcast that is interview based, which means it'll just be me interviewing people that I find really interesting that I hope you find interesting as well. So I'm back here today figuring out how I'm going to build my new set in the back house so i'm thinking that i'm going to leave the 3g1k set here great memories and i'm going to build my new podcast set directly across from it it doesn't look like much now but i think if i throw in some chairs some books some art um feminine color scheme a rug put the logo for the new show up on the screen i think that it'll come together really nicely this day was really fun i showed the girls how to make prison wine or some would call it pruno because today is the day in the life vlog i figured what better opportunity than to show my everyday makeup routine which has been much asked for but first i want to thank today's sponsor Tej hanley the men's skincare brand for sending me their tier one kit Skincare can often be overwhelming for men because there's so many products available, but Tej Hanley simplifies it for you by sending every product that you need from the wash to the scrub to the moisturizer, all in one kit. They even send you a brand new clean towel to dry your face off with after it's nice and clean. They go even further than that to make skincare easy for men by attaching a directions note card that comes in each kit telling you which product to use first how much of it to use and when to use it. My tier one box, I received a face wash. It smells very fresh and has a milky consistency. The second step in the kit is the scrub. So this is also a milky base with some scrub crystals in it. It smells like eucalyptus. I think it would leave your face feeling very fresh and tingly after. Exfoliating is personally my favorite part of my skincare routine. I could not live without it. The AM and PM moisturizer. It's really great when a brand has a separate AM and PM because the AM provides SPF protection, which is great for daytime, and the PM provides elements that ref refresh and rejuvenate your skin overnight while you're sleeping. In the past, I've dated men who have used shampoo, body wash, those all-in-one washes on their face, and it just makes me cringe because I've been a skincare person my whole life, so I know how bad those products are to put on the sensitive skin that is your face. Because Teach Hanley is sponsoring this video, they're not only going to give you the best price possible, but they're also going to hook you up with a free gift. All you have to do is use the first link in the description for your $25 skincare kit and a free gift. The everyday makeup tutorial. So I just want to start by saying this is me just like rolled out of bed this morning. I think I washed my hair 
last night. Today's one of those days where I don't plan on styling it. So this is what I would usually do while I'm putting my makeup on just to give it a little more of a styled look so that my hair has a pretty wave throughout the day. I'm going to twist it. I'm gonna tie it into these little buns while I do my makeup. I'm trying to do everything quickly because I talk and do everything I feel in slow motion sometimes. I'm trying to speed myself up or this will be like an hour long makeup tutorial. Okay, so next, I just want to say there is no product in this. It's just a spray bottle that I got from my friend that's filled with water. So I'll actually spray these buttons with the water to dampen them. And then by the time I'm done doing my makeup, they will be dry and like I said before, really pretty natural waves. These two products I don't use every day. My moisturizer honestly depends on just how my skin is feeling that day. So I'll use, I have so many products and I'll use a different one, but if I'm dry one day or if I'm oily the next, I usually put this just under my eyes. I'll put it on my smile lines, basically anywhere that I have wrinkles. I really wanna moisturize those so they don't show when I have my makeup on. We're at anywhere that I want to be super dewy, I'll add the oil. And then this is a really light moisturizer that I like to use sometimes. So to be honest, I don't use a ton of makeup. That's why I use a BB cream. I use this YSL one. I like for my makeup to be super light and not look like I'm wearing anything. Because I'm pregnant, I'm not allowed to go tanning anymore and I'm more susceptible to developing melasma on my face. So I've had to switch to a lighter shade in this BB cream than I usually wear. I can't really see what I'm doing on the camera. So let's hope I'm putting this on evenly. I feel like usually it has a little more coverage. So maybe if I could see what I was doing, it would cover these little spots. But we're gonna go over and spot treat the spots with um, my concealer. And then I will just let it sit on the spots, honestly, for a little bit because I really wanted to use saturate. And then I wear concealer under my eyes. That I pull it up to give myself more of a lifted look. And then I'll just kind of dab it in. Dab, dab, dab. And then this part I'll brush down. Don't want to use a brush because a lot of the product will come off. So the spots I just dab on with my finger. This one didn't cover too much. I was picking at it a little bit earlier while I was working on my laptop and that's just something that I do. I really like this Bobbi Brown blush color right now, this one. And so I actually put my blush on with the tiny brush because I like to use it to sort of shape my face. And so I just put it like at the very top up here and then I sort of wrap it up here. And sometimes I go over and I'll just slightly go over my nose. Same thing, other side. So I sort of put it resting on my cheekbone highlights because I really want to lift my face instead of dragging it down by putting it on the apples of my cheeks. And sometimes, you know, I'll just dab these little areas. So another thing that I do with it is I put it on my eyelids just to make myself look a little more alive, but not too much. I don't want my eyelids to look pink. I like that I have a natural darker eyelid. 
I just want to give it a little more of that rosy effect. Depending on whether my skin is oily or I have a lot of breakouts, I'll set my face today. I'm not going to set my face just because it's doing a lot better than it has been. I don't really want to pack down those pores with product and reclog them. The most important part to me is just everything blending in really well. So I'd love to use a ton of just water. There's no product in here besides water. And just drench my face. It gives your skin more dewy and natural non-makeup look. I'm going to do my eyebrows while we let this dry. I use different products on my eyebrows every day. Today I'm going to use the Pixie Clear Brow Gel. Sometimes I'll use hairspray. Sometimes I'll use the Got To Be Glue Gel. Um, other times I'll use soap brows. But I'm just going to use this because it's easiest. And I like a really, really brushed up look once again to lift my eyes and my face. I don't use any colored products in my eyebrows. They're already dark enough. The only time that it doesn't look so good is on camera when the lighting's kind of blown out, but that's unforeseeable. And so once it dries, I like to go over my face one more time with this blush. And that's one I actually do with my finger because I really like to just have it on the very top of my cheeks. I love blush. I hardly use bronzer, I don't contour, blush is just everything for shaping my face. And this one I love to put my nose there and here as well. Lips, I'll just put on a chapstick. I have a really nice natural lip color. So I don't really use a lot of lipsticks and I just think lip liner and lipstick looks funny on me because of the shape of my lips. So I'll use this and then I'll actually go back to the original blush and I'll put that on the chapstick to sort of make the color cohesive with the rest of my face. It just makes everything look really natural when you use all the same colors. Today I'm not gonna wear mascara because I'm not going anywhere and I feel like, you know, yeah. Here's our completed look, hair and all. I'm not gonna go anywhere, I'm just gonna walk around my house and look beautiful and fabulous in this everyday natural makeup. I hope that you learned something new from my makeup tutorial that's going to make you look more gorgeous every day. Voila, and thanks for watching my vlog.